So today's video is a how to play video on Bag Chow. If you're new to the channel, this is Two Sheep, One Wheat. My name is Chrissy. Like I said, this is the game Bag Chow. It is on Kickstarter to help promote it because it is nearing extinction. Now this is a two player abstract game. This is kind of like checkers for ages six plus and takes roughly about 15 minutes. Now this game is very easy to play, but is very hard to master. Now this is going on Kickstarter, like I just said, to raise awareness. Now this is actually a campaign that you can pay what you want for this game. It is honestly just to bring awareness for it. So the object of the game is the goats win by trapping all four tigers, and that means no possible moves for the tigers at all. And the tiger player wins by capturing five goats. So let's go ahead and take a look at setup. So you're gonna lay the mat out with bag chow side set up. You're going to decide the player roles. One way to do so is taking one token of each, putting it in your hand, and whoever ends up with the tiger is the tiger, and who ends up with the goat is the goat. Then you're going to place a tiger in each corner of the mat, and the goat player collects their 20 goat tokens. So now how to play bag chow. In bag chow, there are two different phases, and in the first phase, goat player goes first. They're gonna be placing one goat token on an available intersection on the board. Then it's the tiger's player's turn. You're going to move one tiger. Players continue alternating turns until there are no goats left. And during this turn, Tigers can either walk or it can capture a goat as long as the other side of the goat is empty. Then the goat that was captured goes on to the tiger side of the playmat. So eventually all of the goats are going to be placed out onto the board. And once they are all placed out onto the board, then phase two starts to happen. And so once all the goats are placed onto the board, now the goats get to move as well so that they can escape from being captured. And because the goat's goal is to capture all of the tigers, you're going to be moving around the board, trying to block all of them. And then during this phase as well, the tigers and the goats cannot go back and forth between the same two spaces during consecutive turns, unless there is no other option. So the end of the game, if the tigers have captured five goats, the tiger player does win. But if the goat player has trapped all four tigers and the tigers have no possible moves at all, then the goat player is the winner. If each player makes the exact same moves three times consecutively, then the game does end in a draw. So that is how to set up, how to play, and how to win this game. Again, all of the information is down in the description below. Please check this game out and help it from going extinct.